Hey guys, we are um, going to talk more about Genius Hour today. Last week we talked about what Genius Hour is. We did our Genius Hour brainstorm and made a list of things that you were interested in knowing more about. Um, we chose and narrowed down to our one topic and you submitted that um, via a Google form. And then with that topic, you um, developed 10 questions about that topic, things that you wanted to know all about. Um, and this week, we're really going to narrow down some things that we want to know because we're going to start our research later in the week. And then when you get back to school next week, we're going to dive into even more of our research and getting these projects completed. Um, so we're going to look at my list. Remember, my topic was the Eiffel Tower and the things that I wanted to know, how it was made, who made it, how big it is, what do you do there, how long has it been there, where is it located, why was it made, what is it made of, does it have any special characteristics, and what makes it important. So those are 10 things that I wanted to know about my, um, about the Eiffel Tower, about my topic. And you created 10 questions as well last week, or hopefully you did. Um, so with that, um, I want you to look at your topic. You're going to use your 10 questions and you're going to create three headings or categories. Think about it like this. If you were to write a book and your book only had three chapters about your topic, what would those three chapters be called? You can look at your list and see what your list has in common because evidently those are things that you want to know about your topic. So when I looked at my list, I said, well, I want to know how was it made? I want to know how big is it? I want to know why was it made? I want to know what is it made of? So there's a lot that I want to know about the construction of the Eiffel Tower. So I knew that was going to be my first heading or that would be the first chapter of my book. Um, that would be the first thing that you would see in the table of contents if I was going to make a table of contents. Um, I also know that I want to know a lot about what you do there because um, I want to know, I know there's a lot you can do there. I also want to talk about where it's located. Um, and so my second topic would be visiting the Eiffel Tower because I figured I could talk about um what you could do there, going up in the Eiffel Tower, the things, why people go see it in the first place. Um, I could also talk about where it's located and the city that it's located in. But then I asked myself some questions for the things I wanted to know about what makes it important. Does it have any special characteristics? And then um, why was it made in the first place? So those things make it important. And because those things are important, I know that I'm going to be able to write some sentences about that. So that's going to be my third topic. So my third heading is going to be importance of the Eiffel Tower. So I created three headings or three chapters of my book if I was writing a book. And they would be construction of the Eiffel Tower, visiting the Eiffel Tower, and importance of the Eiffel Tower. Those are my three headings. So I'm going to use those later in the week to be able to research exactly what I want to know about my topic, about the Eiffel Tower. You can find this assignment in Language Arts on Schoology. I'm in Language Arts courses in Remote Learning week number two. You're going to click and it's in today's folder. Now, I'm having crazy problems with my Schoology right now. I'm recording this on Tuesday um, about 2.50 in the afternoon, and I've had some problems with my Schoology account all day. So if you're having trouble getting into Schoology, I'm into my Schoology stuff, I'm so sorry. We're trying to fix it. I don't really know what's going on. We've put in a repair ticket. Hopefully, by the time you watch this, it's fixed. Um, but if you cannot do this, just kind of write it on a piece of paper if you need to. Um, and then you'll be able to submit it later. If you need to take a picture of it and send it to me, you can do that as well. Um, but hopefully, by the time you watch this, it is fixed. Hopefully, by tonight, it's fixed. 
because I'm going a little cuckoo. Um, but here is your genius hour. So if you've not done those questions about your topic, I'm going to keep it open for um, just a little bit longer. Um, and hopefully you can do that for me. Um, the three headings is what we're working on today. So you're going to click on it and then um, you're going to hit my document and it'll open up. So this is what it's going to look like. Yep, I'm having issues with it. So let me see if I can bring it up in a, um, <laughs> technology is great when it works. <laughs> okay, um, so this is what your document, when it comes up, is going to look like. Um, so I've put my entire examples up of what you um, are going to see when yours comes up. So I've put the directions up here. I've put my example, and I even put my heading for you that I've made in my topic. So you're going to do what's in blue. You're going to do your topic and your three headings. And then after that, you're going to hit submit. So hopefully my school G is working soon. And you can actually do your assignment. Thanks, guys.